Okay, here's the signal ignition circuit. All we're looking at is what we talked about earlier, firing the ignition system to send spark to the spark plugs. You can actually see that event on something called an ignition scope or a DSO, which we're looking at right now. This section here is the dwell section. This is when the points or the ICM or PCM is grounding out the coil for current to, for current to flow. Now remember, the ICM and PCM replaces the points. There's no more points. Okay, but the ICM and PCM replaces the points. So when it grounds out that primary circuit, current starts flowing in this section here. Okay, it's current limiting right here. This one turns it on. Now at this point here, this first spike, it's when the ICM or PCM turns off the primary circuit and current stops flowing and you get this first spike. That's the spike that goes to, from the <clears throat> the fire, the, let me see how I can say this. This spike initiates the spark across the spark plugs. It's the required voltage to fire the spark plug. And after it fires this plug, it got to sustain that spark. And that's, now you see that on the spark line right here. This is the horizontal line right after the spike. This should be a rule of thumb a quarter, a quarter of the height of the fire line. But that's the spark line. That's to maintain the spark across the spark plug. Now, after it does that, the spark starts to diminish. And you see that in the oscillations right here. This is the coil oscillation, diminishing oscillations, right? Right back down to system voltage, system voltage again, and the event starts all lower by grounding the coil, controlling, controlling the primary current, firing the secondary, and it repeats itself at every cylinder the same way. That's a quick overview. Any questions, let me know.